So I recently saw a video from RC Test Flight, where he managed to make a wind pipe boat go, although slowly, in the opposite direction of the wind. So that's what I'm trying to build in this video. As always, if you liked this video and want to see more cool builds, like and subscribe. I started by just creating the catamaran shape, which is good for this build since it gives the boat a lot of stability. Next I added the drive shaft by using steering hinges that always were angled down, to just give that gradual slope. As a bearing, I used a helicopter servo, as it would give the drive shaft free rotation, but also allowed me to power it to test the propeller. I added some tail fins on hinges to steer, and then spent way too long trying to make a propeller with hinges. When I couldn't get that to work, I used rotating servos for the angle of the blades, which seemed to work fine. After I got all of that figure out, I found me spawned in the boat, and used a helicopter servo to power up the propeller, which honestly worked better than I expected. I made some more modifications to the boat, before trying to make the wind turbine that is powering the propeller on the original boat. I decided to make it out of wings and servos, since they would generate a good amount of power, but also would be easy to adjust the angle of. After adding just one wing segment to each side of the turbine, the results were promising, since I wasn't swept back that much from the wind. So I did what every reasonable person would do. I added more wing pieces. Somehow, this was way worse. The wind just used my wing pieces as a sail and dragged me backwards. I was thinking I might have had my wings in the back reversed, so I reversed them. This seemed to really help, and now I was just barely drifting backwards. Seeing that this almost seemed to work, I, you guessed it, added even more wings. That's when this happened. I don't know exactly why this happened, but I think it has something to do with the fact that there are five servers attached to each other. I had to come up with something else, as even though this looked hilarious, it wasn't really helping at all. I tried decreasing the amount of wings, which seemed to slightly help, but it was still just really glitchy. Switching back to 3 wings per blade did seem to work, but it just didn't have enough thrust to go against the wind. It could kinda move against the wind diagonally, but my goal with this video was making it be able to go straight towards the wind so I wasn't happy yet. I decided to try using elevator fins instead of the normal wings, since I figured I could have more of them without glitches if I didn't use any servos. While I was at it, I also extended the drive shaft, so I could have a better angle on the turbine and propeller. I was hoping this would give me some extra power. I also doubled up the helicopter servos to make the drive shaft steadier. Spoiler alert, it didn't work. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Trendmakers, but they really gotta fix their servo glitches. Since this design was just glitching out, I decided to just redesign the entire turbine. After briefly checking that the propeller still worked as usual, I remade the turbine. Instead of using servos for the wing attachments this time, I used steering hinges, since I knew that they were way less prone to glitching out weirdly. It took a while for me to figure out how to position them, but it worked in the end. And it looked quite good. I then started to add the wings. I went with modular wings since they seemed like the best option. The only problem with the wings is that I can't count them. No, seriously, look at this freeze frame right here. 4 wings on that side, and 5 wings on that side. How do I constantly mess up the wing length of my creations? Don't worry though. I spotted this way faster than last time. It still glitched out though. I removed some wings, and now it was just barely inching backwards at like the slowest pace imaginable. 
After this showed so much promise, I tried making it better, until it could actually go forwards. One of the best changes that I made was changing the propeller to be made out of powered tail fins instead of unpowered ones, which made it able to create more thrust. I also made the turbine symmetrical. I tried using the boat in an area with more wind, but the waves just messed me up and didn't allow me to go straight. Back in the spawn area again, the boat was just barely creeping forwards at under 1 km per hour. To hopefully get more thrust, I changed the pitch angle of the turbine's blades. This really helped, and now I was actually moving forwards at a reasonable pace. Like, comparing to the original video, mine actually seemed to go faster even. I was really happy with it so far, but I decided to tune it to get it as fast as I could, and give it some other colors. While watching this, remember that you can comment on what you want me to build next, and I might do it in another video. And now, coming up on the end of the time lapse, this was the final result. It might not look like much, but this is a completely wind powered boat that can go towards the wind. I am actually so happy that I could get this to work in Trainmakers as smoothly as it does. I want to thank RC Test Flight for the idea, and all of you for watching this video. This has been Wemplar, and I'll see you again next time.